Populous as a game evolved rather than being designed, I think my first thought was, let's create a little world and have these little people moving around this little world. It was only when I started being confronted with real problems of creating this little world, like how to get the little people moving around the coast and, and moving around objects that I started laying game mechanics which, which made up for how incompetent I was as a coder. So a little person would come to some water and I couldn't work out how to get them around that water, so I just had the player raise the land up. That's how the game came about, is because I was a rubbish coder. So this game kind of evolved. There wasn't really anything much like it, and this was a problem when we were taking it around to publishers, because there was, you know, you'd show the game to someone and they'd say, well, I don't understand what that's all about, you know, just go back and finish it off and maybe we'll look at it again. And it took about, I think, about nine months to make. It was me and Glenn. Glenn was doing the graphics and I was just kind of doing the gameplay. I think the one of the biggest reasons why Populous was as successful as it was, was the early games that me and Glenn used to play in the office. And we used to get, an, I have to wire this RS-232 cable up between two machines and we play it almost every day. And then that night I'd refine the game in such a way so it would be to my advantage. So I think I won every single game because I used to effectively cheat and refine all the rules. So I think it's fair to say we really didn't have an idea of what the world would think of this game. I don't think our expectations were high. And at that time, you know, we were living in squalor. Um, Electronic Arts did an initial run of the game. Uh, we never knew how many there that was. And then they started to send it out to journalists and then they obviously got the reaction back. They were doing all this, we weren't doing any of it. We didn't really get a feel for it. Um, and then suddenly um, some amazing things started to happen. The first amazing thing was a journalist called Bob Wade. And Bob Wade came down to Bullfrog. Now, we had never really had any guests before, <laughs> and, and certainly not someone like Bob Wade, who was a famous journalist. And uh, so our strategy was to go down the pub with Bob and uh, to get him completely drunk to ho hopefully distract him from talking about the game. We didn't talk about the game at all because we were too nervous to do so. So after countless pints at lunchtime, you know, eventually plucked up courage and asked, you know, Bob, what did you, what did you think of the game, you know, of, of Populous? And, and he said, this disastrous line, he said, it's the best game I've ever played. And the single thought that went through my mind is, he must never play the game ever again because he must have made a horrendous mistake. And that review was in Ace, magazine, you know, it's one of the most respected magazines at the time. That happened, then all these other reviews came out, there were incredible scores, and then this guy who was one of the heads of, of Electronic Arts phoned up and said, it's a huge success, and it was a literally, you know, going from urinating in the sink to, to and, and owing more money than I could ever imagine paying off to banks and building societies and to 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 an incredible life yeah